Hello students. Today we are going to discuss your worksheet 25 for the date 31st August. As we are reading the chapter life processes, since in the last worksheet we have discussed the process of life respiration, in this the continuation of that process because we have discussed in case of animals, now we will discuss in case of plants, we have discussed different types of respiration that is aerobic and anaerobic but in case of plants we will discuss only the aerobic pathway now aerobic pathway as you know is depending on the oxygen when the oxygen is available then the sufficient amount of energy is uh, taken by breaking down the food molecules now the, for this aerobic respiration as you know very much oxygen is required and all the green plants when we talk they breathe through the process which is called as cellular respiration cellular respiration means breathing through the cell is known as cellular respiration now as we go further you will see that diffusion is the method by which the exchange of gases now here two gases are taking place carbon dioxide and oxygen exchange and that too from the stomata so you have to remember this that diffusion is the method through which the exchange of gases is taking place through the organelle which is known as stomata these are the cells which are present in the leaf surface the large intercellular space ensure that the cells are direct contact with air generally stomata in leaf and lenticles in hard and woody stems are the respiratory organs you have to remember these two names stomata in leaves and lenticles in hard woody stems are the respiratory organs now how it is happening firstly if you think of generally all the parts of the uh, parts of the plant can respire but the main respiratory organ of plant is its leaf because leaves contains these stomata okay now during the daytime when the process of photosynthesis is taking place this respiration is occurring simultaneously simultaneously means it doesn't require oxygen from outside it will take oxygen from inside by the process of photosynthesis through which the oxygen is made okay now during the daytime process photosynthesis is taking place leaves are only taking in co2 that is carbon dioxide and releasing the oxygen in the environment that means the oxygen is released outside and the carbon dioxide is going inside and this carbon dioxide is used for the process of photosynthesis but during the night time when the process of photosynthesis doesn't take place then the opposite of this is going on what is the opposite of this that oxygen will be going inside and co2 will be given out because at that in the night there is no making of oxygen is there in the plants leaves so they have to depend on the environment for the air that's why they breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide like us let's see the difference between the terrestrial and the aquatic organisms on the basis of respiration terrestrial organisms breathe by using atmospheric oxygen whereas aquatic they are taking oxygen dissolved in water the level of oxygen in case of environment our atmosphere is very high as compared to the level of oxygen in water that's why these terrestrial organisms need to breathe slower and the aquatic organism need to breathe faster because we have a abundant percentage of oxygen available so we don't have to rush up while the amount of oxygen available for the aquatic organism is less so they have to breathe faster now we are going to talk about a organism which is from aquatic organism fish it is respiratory organ is gills and these gills are very much connected with blood vessels for the exchange of gases these are the gills which help the aquatic organism to utilize the oxygen which is dissolved in water or you can say to take out the oxygen from the water these gills continuously keep on moving and take the water through its mouth and forces it through the gills actually the fish is taking water they doesn't breathe like us taking through the nose they breathe through the mouth they take oxygen from the instead of oxygen they take water from the mouth and they force this water to pass out from these gills and these gills are covered with a layer which is known as operculum and these gills are richly supplied with the blood vessels through which the exchange of these gases is taking place so the carbon dioxide produced during respiration is brought back by this blood vessel into the gills by expelling out of the water now there are the different characteristics or respiratory surface first one it must be 
thin it must be permeable to respiratory acid it must be moist with water or mucus it should have large surface area and it is in direct contact with the source of water or air so these are the different characteristics a respiratory surface should have now let's see the question answers first is name the respiratory organ of a plant draw the diagram on the plant which help in the exchange of gases so you can write the respiratory organ in case of plants it is stomata in leaf and lenticles these are the two respiratory organs and you have to draw the diagram of stomata okay so these two diagrams you have to draw and the lenticles and leaf second is how do plants breathe they bleed through the stomata you can write by exchange of gases do plants breathe at night yes because during the night the process of photosynthesis is not there so they breathe during the night exchange of gases how do fishes breathe the fishes breathe through the respiratory organ which is known as gills you can write the answer is here and what are the three characteristics of respiratory surface any one any three characteristics of these you can write so it's a very easy worksheet hope you enjoyed this video do like share and subscribe it thank you